Washington, D.C. may remain divided by partisan animosity on most things, but some things apparently just still rise above politics. And considering the national security implications, the House of Representatives voted unanimously to create a secure government system for reporting UFOs, now officially referred to as UAPs, unidentified aerial phenomena, and to compel current and former officials to reveal what they might know while promising to protect them from any professional reprisal. It's been a major issue for decades, apparently just in time. That's now in the state of Maine here. A man and his daughter were on vacation. Take a look here. When they filmed an unidentified object they described as the shape of a Tic Tac. If you've heard of that before, that sped over a national park filled with tourists and then it vanished into the clouds, apparently followed closely by two conventional fighter jets that you see here caught in their footage of the object and the pursuing jets. Apparently caught everyone's attention and some brief iPhone footage there also and was able to capture that before it disappeared from view. We'll discuss it more on these issues. We're joined by Aviv Ophir, staff scientist at the Weizmann Institute of Science in Rokhovot. Aviv, thanks for being with us here. First, on the, uh, the recent moves by the U.S., let's put it this way, in recent years uh, by the U.S. government to apparently open up about unidentified flying objects, or UAPs now, the aerial phenomena as they're referred to among pilots, military personnel. Are they creating a more open environment for really more credible discussion around this issue everywhere? Uh, yes, first, thank you for having me. And uh, secondly, of course, these are unidentified flying objects, meaning that they are unidentified. It does not mean that they are aliens, no. just by the name. So things that are unidentified need to be researched further, need to be better understood. And maybe we will find something that is mundane, that this is just kind of an over-reflection of some bright object distance, uh, of some distance. Or maybe it is something that is worth knowing. But currently, it is unidentified. Uh, so what this new legislation is about, let's find out. It's not about, let's say, there are aliens there. Right. Well, it's about time. At least there's been some official uh, sort of channel being created here for these pilots and who are witnessing all sorts of things to be able to come forward and discuss these things without harming their own careers. Obviously, a major issue. But looking at Israel, though, what's the nature of this subject and how it's discussed in Israel? I mean, the country has had its share of high profile sightings, uh, even going back to Jerusalem in the last decade here. So how is it discussed here? Uh, I don't think that there is any independent uh, discussion here <laughs> within the government. Uh, as a general uh, following the USA in this case, it is now better accepted. It is not powerful uh, professionally, as you said. So uh, yeah. to say that I've seen something, you report it, pilots report it, I've seen A and B and C and factual reports and interpreting them is a matter of research. Uh, whether it is something mundane, mundane or indeed new, that's something else. So, Israel is following the USA in this case, uh, where we are now a little bit more open to okay. this uh, subject, uh, but there is no go official government policy as far as I know.